Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, you know, you can say the next seven days, okay? So what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Mmm. Mm. Haystack, karma. You will reap what you have sown. So that's just one. Karma, you will reap what you have sown, good or bad. So that could be good as well. Whatever you have sown, you will reap. You will reap what you sow. Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. So there is something new that is coming. Either it's a birth of, or it's a new business opportunity. Could it be the birth of something new? It doesn't have to be a baby. Okay. Birth is the beginning of something new. This darn shirt just will not cooperate. Whatever. I've been trying. Anyhow, what do we got? What do we got for Scorpio? Seizing a new opportunity. I believe you're going to be getting a new opportunity. You're going to be taking it. Dog barking. Advice from a friend. So you're going to be receiving some advice from a friend. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. So you do have a new opportunity that is coming. You have a friend that can give you some advice. Can you listen to that advice? Mm, that's a pile. We don't want a pile. What do we have for Scorpio? Ooh, one, 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 instant manifestation. Highly intuitive. Pay attention to your thoughts because your thoughts become things at this time. Your thoughts become things. One is a very independent energy, however. It's about self, okay? Focus on yourself during this time. Independence. Scorpio. Your thoughts are manifesting, okay? Remember, you will reap what you have sown. If you wish ill will on another person, say say there's somebody doing black magic on another person. You know, they're trying to control a situation. Ha! All right. This is infatuation and obsession. So somebody is obsessed. And it feels like they're trying to manifest something that isn't meant to be. Because I just brought that up. The minute I brought it up, I said, oh, that's right, to myself. We got somebody who's trying to get something that isn't meant to be. It's like, oh, yeah, my thoughts become things. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to manifest this against somebody's free will. No. Boomerang. This is infatuation and obsession. We got somebody who is infatuated and obsessed. What do we have for Scorpio? Ooh. They will not change ever, ever. There's some, we have an ass here, it says they. It's they, it's the other person. There is somebody here that will never change, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Doesn't really want commitment. Not the kind of commitment that you are looking for. This person could already be in a commitment, but they may be in a commitment where they can play. You know, they can get away with whatever they want because they're dealing with somebody who's stupid. You know? Whoever you're dealing with doesn't really, 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 really want commitment. And maybe you can see right through it because we got these one, 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 so you're highly intuitive, right? So, but there's infatuation and obsession. So I feel like you, I don't know if you guys, it's you. I feel like you are infatuated and obsessed with something, with somebody that will never change. This person doesn't really want a commitment, okay? They want to play. I know that's what they want. They want to play. They might be in a commitment with somebody that isn't very intelligent. 
that they can get away with playing with. Right? They can cheat. They can do this. They can talk to whoever they want. They can do whatever they want because whoever they're dealing with is clueless. So anyway. It doesn't ask questions. is isn't very intuitive. is isn't very spiritual. Maybe that the person they're dealing with is doing it too. Doesn't really care. You know, whatever. This person's never going to change. They found somebody that's going to let them get away with it. So what do we have for Scorpio? You're dealing with an ass. Hmm. Empress. Empress. So some of you are taking on an Empress energy, especially if you are a female watching this. If you are not a female watching this, you have a Libra or a Taurus around you or somebody that is very loving. You know, this is somebody who does everything with love. This is the birth, okay, that we were talking about with the stork. There could even be news of a child or news of a pregnancy. But this is the birth of a new life. This is a new baby. It's a new beginning. It's beautiful. There's tender loving care. It's being loved and cared for. Okay? I feel like you have plenty. I feel like you have a lot of love to offer. I, I feel like uh, we have a very beautiful woman here who has uh, a romantic offer that is coming for her or she has romance around her. She may be even receiving some flowers. But anyhow, we do have somebody that wants to be in a relationship with this empress. There could also be a reunion between mother and child. Okay, if there's been some sort of uh, distance between a mother and a child, you know, there's been, uh, what do you call that? slipped my mind where well, the child doesn't talk to the mother because they're going through uh, you know they think that they know it all you know this could be a, a child that is stubborn is very 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 stubborn you know they they they're unwilling because they think that they know it all they're unwilling to communicate with their mother you know this could be a reunion of some sort where somebody go the ace of uh, not the ace but the ones are an awakening a wake-up call so somebody may be getting a wake-up call they may be literally getting a phone call may have something to do with a child child contacting their mother hopefully that's the case anyhow um, or a mother contacting her child or reconciliation between mother and child either way there could be the birth of a child there could be news of a child there could also be um, well, I feel like there's romance in the air here there's tender loving care we have a mother here who has a lot of love to offer okay she's a, she's beautiful she's a hard worker um, she does it all. Birth. Birth of a new life. A rebirth of some sort. We'll use, I don't even know what deck I want to use. I think we'll use... Yeah, I guess so. No, I don't want that one. I guess we'll go with this one. Um... Advice from a friend. You need to nurture yourself. You need to take care of yourself. Okay? Love yourself. One is a number of self. Love yourself. The Empress is the queen of value. She's the queen of all queens. Okay? She knows her value. She knows her value. She's beautiful. She has many, many, many options. She is not infatuated or obsessed with anybody. Nobody. Okay? She loves her family. She loves her children. She loves herself. She's not infatuated or obsessed. She doesn't wait around for her ex to come back. That's not an empress. We do have a mother here that is getting some sort of blessing or a woman that is going to become a mother. We do have birth here. Birth of a new life after some sort of painful experience. 
Oh my God, I guess it was painful, huh? Three of Swords, extremely painful. This is a painful separation, the Three of Swords. Right? This is heartache, it's grief, it's suffering, it's a rejection, it's a painful separation. That is your signifier card. So we do have a painful separation here. It hurts. Five of Pentacles, Three of Wands, King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. In your section, Page of Cups, could go vice versa. Five of Swords and Four of Cups reverse. It's interesting. I think I said it for you. I'm not sure about seizing a new opportunity, taking a new opportunity. Bottom of the deck is a chariot card that is moving forward, mastering emotions, getting in the driver's seat, focusing on the future, finding your mental uh, determination, you know, mastering your emotions to not look back. I feel like there's travel indicated here. Some of you may be traveling, you may be going someplace, you could be dealing with somebody that is at a distance. There's definitely going to be some movement, some movement forward. Seizing a new opportunity. I think that you're going to be taking a new opportunity. I feel like you're interested in a new opportunity. I feel like you are on the path. I think that you're moving forward. Um, but in your emotional situation, your emotional, we have the Five of Swords, which is really, really struggling. You're feeling defeated, right? You're feeling betrayed. I feel like um, this is some sort of... Well, it's in your emotional sense. It's mental turmoil. Don't care. I don't care. I don't care. So you may be in a revengeful state of mind. I'm not sure if you're angry. Some of you, you know, you're, you may be focusing on the future, but there's still some anger here. This is in your emotional space, okay? The Five of Swords is angry. It's revenge. It's, I don't care who I hurt because I'm hurting too. That's what that is. I think that, you know, we got somebody here that doesn't have any moral conscience. It's in your emotional section and don't try to pin it on the other person. We all react to our pain. Pain is the main part of this reading, the Three of Swords. It's reacting to pain. I don't care who I hurt as long as I win. As long as I get my ego boost, as long as I get my ego boost because somebody betrayed me, they hurt me, they rejected me. Looking for somebody else because of the rejection and I don't care who I hurt. You know, I'm not sure if you guys need to heal. You may need some healing. You may need to take a minute to heal. More than a minute. Obviously, there's some sort of pain here. There is. There's a painful separation. Somebody may have left you for dead, right? They dropped you. They, they abandoned you. They, they abused you. Mental abuse. Verbal abuse. You know, and, and sometimes, you know, it's interesting. You will reap what you have sown. What goes around, comes around. You know, sometimes, you know, we, we take on that energy and we fight back in the same way as to what hurt us. I feel like there is somebody around you that you're going to be flirting with, you know, but I feel like, uh, I honestly, I honestly feel like you're, you're trying to fill a void. And I feel like you need to heal. I feel like you need to take care of yourself. You need to nurture yourself. You need to focus on yourself. Okay, I feel like you need to focus on yourself. I feel like you're not completely healed over the whoever the one is that you are fat, infatuated and obsessed with. You can't go hurting other people just because you want to fill a void. Anyhow, I do believe that, there, that, that you're interested. You're starting to get interested in somebody else. But there's still a lot of pain here. There's still a lot of suffering. I don't think that you have completely healed. Okay? I feel like you have been betrayed very, 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 very much. You're still in a lot of pain. But you're going through a period of... Well, it's fertility, a period of growth with that Empress card, okay? You're going through a period of growth. This is a time of incubation. 
I believe that it is. It's a time of incubation. You need to heal from this pain. Don't get anybody else involved if you are not healed, if you haven't taken time to heal. Whoever you're dealing with has made a definite decision with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands, a definite decision has been made. This person's mind is made up. Five of Pentacles above it. Five of Pentacles is neglect. It's ghosted. It's abandonment. It's hard times. It's uh, being outcast. It's, it's like a negative change. It's like... It's not good. It's not, it's not getting any help. They're not going to be giving you anything. Whoever you're dealing with is not interested in, in reciprocating. They've made up their mind. They've already, they've already made up their mind. They're focusing in another direction with that three of wands. That is the decision. It's a definite decision that has been made. And I think that's what hurts the most. This person may have abandoned you, they neglected you, they ghosted you, you know, they, uh, are not giving you anything. King of Pentacles, I don't know if you're dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could also be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I believe that you're expressing your feelings, it feels like you're trying to get somebody to... Uh, reciprocate but this person's mind is made up it feels like their mind is made up they're, they're they've I feel like whoever you're dealing with um, is very much focused on money they're focused on their financial security they may not have enough money or they may not be they're not you know, they may be going through some financial hard times and so their focus right now is money 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 and security and stability so I feel like that's what their main focus is. They're not focusing on, you know, um, a relationship. So I feel like you're trying to express feelings to somebody that isn't really interested. And I feel like you have somebody else here that you maybe, maybe you've been ignoring this person, uh, somebody else. You've been ignoring this other person because of your infatuation and obsession with whoever the person is that neglected you and abandoned you. It's like you're trying to manifest this person back into your life when you have somebody else. You know, rejection is God's protection, but a lot of people don't want to accept that. They think, oh, I am so powerful that I'm going to get this person back with my thoughts or my black magic. <laughs> God's will is stronger than any of that. boomerang anyhow um king of pentacles i do feel like you have somebody else here that you have been missing an opportunity with i do i feel like you need to get prepared you need to get prepared this person is right around the corner especially if you're single this person is right around the corner i feel like it is a taurus virgo capricorn i do I feel like, I mean, you could meet this person at a church or a building, you know, a government building. You, this person, it could also, you could also meet this person on travel. This person could be at a distance. This person could be moving. They could be moving to your location. Whoever this person is that it has money, okay, this person is solid. They are secure. They have a good job. This is a hard, 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 hard worker. This person can help you to heal from this person that has abandoned you, that has abused you. I feel like you've been abused. I do. There's being loved and being cared for here. I feel like there's tender love and care coming your way. I feel like you deserve it, but you don't know it. news of a child you may be receiving some news from a child i already said that didn't i 
or news of a pregnancy. And this may be the straw that breaks the camel's back for some of you. Painful separation here. Somebody has made up their mind. They don't care who they hurt. All they care about is stability and security. You need to focus on your future. You have another opportunity here. It feels like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the somebody to come back that has abandoned you. Stop waiting. It's time for your new life. All that pain you have endured, get prepared for a blessing. You are about to receive a blessing. You are. I know that you are. But there's so much stubbornness here. It's, and it is. You're a fixed sign, right? You are a fixed sign. Maybe some of you need to reconnect with your mother, you know? Maybe maybe there's mother's a mother's love is needed. Maybe you need to mother yourself. But we have we have a stubborn person, extremely stubborn, that is, you know what, I gotta teach my mother a lesson. You know, something about a mother here. Fuck that shit. That's childish behavior. It really is. Try growing up without a mother. Oh, I've already grown up without a mother. My mother was a terrible mother. If she's still alive, well, she's still your mother. Respect your mother. I'm not respecting my mother. Fuck that shit. Fuck you. You will reap what you have sown. If you don't respect your mother, do not expect your children to respect you. I don't know where that message comes from. Came from God, I suppose. It goes around, comes around. You will reap what you have sown. Because on your side, it's like, I want to win at all costs. That five of swords on your side. It's your, in your emotional state of mind. Fight, 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 fight to the bitter end. Push everybody away. And everybody does go away because nobody wants to deal with that. Who wants to fight? Who wants to deal with somebody who wants to win at all costs? That has no morals. That is going to play games. That is going to do whatever it takes to win. Nobody. Nobody. Even if it means hurting other people to win, you know. Nobody to hell with that shit. Anyhow, I do believe you have an opportunity here. I think that you have an opportunity for love. I do. I do, I do, I do, I do. But I feel I think that you have manifested it. But it's not the one that you are infatuated and obsessed with. That person has already made up their mind. They have. They have. It's time for you to move forward. You have some tender, loving care coming your way with somebody that is loyal, that will take really good care of you. This person appears to be abundant, definitely abundant. They can help you with your financial struggles if you're financially struggling. Let's get one more card. A lot of pain and suffering. We have a departure here. Some, If somebody hasn't already departed, they are departing. Five of swords, three of swords, three of wands. Okay, that is a departure. Painful separation. Feels like there's some prayers that have been heard. We have three threes. We have the Empress, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Three, three, three. Threes are your prayers have been heard, but the higher power will answer those prayers and how they see fit, not how you see fit.
It's time to let go of this emptiness and focus on the future. You have a new opportunity for love here. You need to let go of your victim mentality, and there is victim mentality here, and focus on the future. The future looks bright. It does look bright. It does. I feel like you've been hoping and praying for somebody to come back. Oh my God. Stop. Stop. If they left, let them go. They don't want you. Open your heart in a new direction. High priestess reverse. This is this is doing something, you know, trying to manipulate. <laughs> okay. So this is lack of awareness. Somebody's not very spiritual. Could be somebody trying to do black magic. They're not gonna, it's not gonna work out. It's not. Goes around, comes around. All right. Anyway, I know a lot of you don't like to hear that, do you? It's a fact, it's the truth. Uh, high priestess reversed. This is secrets being revealed, ignoring intuition. We have somebody here that is over, overly reliant. They're overly reliant on psychic, tarot readers, mediums, um, you know, people giving them poor advice, you know, instead of listening to their gut, uh, or just overly reliant, you know, on, on magic per se. You need to be practical. You need to ground yourself. I mean, the high priestess reverse is lack of knowledge. It really is. Wanting somebody to come back. Please come back. Please come back. Let them go. Wake up. I feel like we have somebody here that's been pretending with this Eight of Cups reverse. They've been pretending, right? That everything is okay. They're definitely coming back. They're not coming back. It's time for you to go. There's a, ne there's a necessary but painful alteration that is happening. Somebody it, it, has either thought about leaving or they've already left and they're not coming back. There's a new prospect. There is a new prospect here. Focus on the future. You need more time to heal. You need more time to heal. Get prepared. There is somebody that is coming into your life that is real, that is solid, that is stable. You may miss the opportunity completely, however, because of an infatuation and obsession with somebody that isn't interested. Good luck. 